So, what happens when a security camera goes to gym, eats 3000 lumens for breakfast and gets a PhD in smart home integration? You get this, the Reolink Elite Floodlight Wi-Fi. It's big, it's bright, it's 4K and yes, it works with Home Assistant. I slapped it above my side entrance and, spoiler alert, now even raccoons are overexposed in 4K. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Ok, let's start with the unboxing. Inside the box you get everything that you need to connect and get this camera working as soon as possible. You get the camera, the floodlights that are of course thanks to Reolink already pre-installed, mounting gear, manual that you pretend to read, sticker and mostly that's it. The build quality is really solid. This thing could survive a crowbar or at least a frustrated DIYer like myself. Also it looks like a robot from the future. If Wally had a cousin in law enforcement, this one would be it. But besides the things that are included in the box itself, we will need some tools. You will need a drill. You will need to know where the fuses are because this one is hooked up directly to the mains power and you have to turn the power wherever you want to install it. I mounted it on the wall above my side door. Took me around 20 minutes, including 10 minutes of where did I leave my drill and drill bits. If you ever install the light, this isn't scary. Wire it up, screw it in, power it on and boom, not the fuse, but it should be alive. The up setup was smoother than expected, but that's normal for the Reolink. No awkward Bluetooth dance, just Wi-Fi and go. In the app you select that you want to add new device, scan the QR code, exchange the credentials for the SSID between the phone and the camera and that's pretty much it. As far as the initial setup is concerned, the Reolink app lets you control everything. Brightness, color temperature, lighting modes, you want 3000K warm white glow for the mood lighting, no problem, or 6000K or Kelvin cold white that says get off my lawn. You've got it. And yes, there is a setting where the light turns on only when it is dark outside and something is moving. Or if you are petty like me, just leave it on the maximum sun mode brightness all night, more or the less. All the settings in the app are the same as with other high-end cameras from the Reolink. Now let's talk about Home Assistant integration. Here is where my nerd heart really smiled. It works with Home Assistant because we all know that Reolink has a platinum level of integration for Home Assistant. The camera stream shows up on my dashboard, I can toggle the floodlight like it's a smart lamp and of course you can add it to any or all of your automations, well, because it's a smart home. I made one where if the side door opens after sunset, the floodlight powers up like Gandalf yelling, you shall not pass. It really is glorious. At full brightness, this thing doesn't just light up the yard, it lights up your soul. You can dim it, change the tone, or of course set schedules so it doesn't accidentally blind your neighbor's cat at 3am. Super customizable and very polite for the security light. As far as the video quality, it records in glorious 4K. And the 180 degrees field of view means you can see everything. Packages, neighbors, possibly even the curvature of the earth if you do believe that the earth is curved. Zooming in doesn't turn into pixel soup either. It's like a private detective in your gutter. Just, you know, the legal one. Ok, let's talk about some of the advanced functionality that I haven't seen so far in other cameras from Reolink. Maybe there was already something like that, but for me this is a first. The app of course is smooth. Even the playback works fast, which if you are used to other cameras is nothing short of a miracle. And there is also something coming very soon, and that is the AI video search. Just type, for example, person at 9 pm, and the app will say, Here is Jerry walking his dog. It's local, private, and no extra fees, according to the information that I currently have, 
which is a nice because I already pay for like six subscriptions I don't use. And yes, I did insert the SD card and inserting the SD card allows you to store everything locally, but also to create a nice and catchy time lapses. Of course, depends on what you're watching. Garbage truck on the street or, for example, the night sky. But of course, you can also hook it up to the Relink NVR. You can also use a Relink Hub, Pro version or the normal version. And of course, you have option to use FTP or, for example, if you're using Synology, to hook it up there. As far as the connectivity is concerned, this device is using Wi-Fi 6. And that means that this device can use high-speed bandwidth over the Wi-Fi course, if you have a Wi-Fi 6 Pro for all of you that are interested in enhanced functionality, this camera supports line crossing alert, zone intrusion alert, and also zone loitering alert. So whatever you want to avoid near your property, this camera has internal option for that. Currently, this option is not available through the NVR and also with the PC client. And same as with other Realing cameras, you can hook it up to your Google Smart Home system so that you can display the camera feed on the smart displays from the Google. For the recap, you have hardware connection to your mains power, setup is done through the Bluetooth, and the case is IP66 weatherproof rated. And that means that the camera is ready to survive whatever weather you have there. Rain, snow, sun, whatever. So, what do I think after using it for a couple of weeks? It's bright, it's smart, and it hasn't failed once. Which is more than I can say for me. I did fail a lot. If you want a camera that acts like it belongs in 2025, this is it. It fits into your smart home, doesn't need babysitting, and has more control options than a TV remote from the 90s. You can grab the Reolink Elite Floodlight Wi-Fi right now on Amazon or from the Rally directly. The link is down in the video description. Let me know in the comments what weird automation you'd hook this thing up to. Me, I'm working on a setting that yells nice try when the squirrel walks by. I really do hope that you did find this video interesting. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really means a lot to me, but it helps also with the YouTube algorithms. And of course, you are more than welcome to leave a comment down in a comment section below. But before I end up, as always, I must say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support. But let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, shared, liked or commented on my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month. Or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, as always, you can send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.